The reason why I'm making this video is to point out a couple of the problems you could have planting large trees or even plants behind um, certain types of plants behind retaining walls or even in front of retaining walls. I mean, I like the look of ivy plants growing up or down, hanging down retaining walls. I love that. I love plants. But I do not love the problems that come with plants and trees some of the time. If you're going to plant a tree um, behind a retaining wall, then this tree will need to be pruned and maintained um, to keep the roots in check. And once you get these roots of a large tree um, searching their way and finding their way into any little crack uh, behind the retaining wall, um, and then growing larger and eventually forcing the retaining wall apart, causing it to crack, then this defeats the whole purpose of even building the retaining wall in the first place. And as you can see here, I'm going to point it out here in another video, you can actually see the moisture at the bottom of the retaining wall. And uh, like I said, in the next couple of pictures, I will show you where the moisture, what it looks like. You can always go back and look at it, but it's basically the discolored area at the bottom. You can actually see where the moisture is coming through the retaining wall in the area where it is not painted. The paint uh, sometimes will uh, keep some of this moisture back. And I believe I made another video on that already how the paint, uh, how it really isn't good to paint a retaining wall. Now here's a view of the rest of the retaining wall. And you can see there's no tree, there's no plants hanging over it, but there is still moisture. And there's the moisture, the little gray spot that's coming through. So this tells me that the ground cover, and the ground cover is there for a reason, by the way, it's there to prevent the soil erosion. If the ground cover wasn't there, whenever it rained, um, all of the dirt eventually would wash its way over the top of the retaining wall and uh, create a problem for the other side there. So keep that in mind. It's kind of a, this is just a tough situation. You put a retaining wall up and you expect it to last forever, but that's not always going to be the case. And you can actually, Whenever you're doing maintenance, you inspect these uh, your retaining wall just like the rest of your property on a regular basis. You're going to be able to see if there's any problems and then monitor those problems. You're going to be able to do something about that. Um, put another ground cover up. Reduce the amount of water you're using on the ground cover already. And again, problems like these aren't going to arise most of the time. This block wall does not have a drainage system behind it. If it had a drainage system set up correctly behind it, then um, you probably wouldn't be seeing any of the moisture there, or at least you wouldn't be seeing as much of it. Now the lighter areas, um, you can see right here, that's actually where the um, block wall is dry. It is not wet. And uh, again, you're going to see this a little more often on retaining walls that do not have a drainage system. And you know, this, this is stuff that's going to continue to happen 10 years from now, 20 years from now, because builders need to save money. A drainage system might have cost uh, another $4,000 to put in. It might have cost another $500 to put in. But if you don't have the money to put it in or you, gotta, you need that money somewhere else, then you're going to cut some corners. And when the job is finished, it's going to look great but 10 or 20 or even 30 years down the road, it could look something like this. Here's an example of what a lot of moisture can do to a block wall. And, uh, and again, I'm not saying that that 100%, this is all due for moisture, but there's a good chance that uh, moisture um, has a lot more to do with it than um, anything else. I mean, who knows, even this, these uh, blocks could, could, have been, uh, could have been manufactured incorrectly. But why aren't the rest of the blocks doing the same thing? So there's got to be a problem. And these are the problems you're going to be looking for after you have built the retaining wall incorrectly and have planted too many plants up there and you're watering the crap out of everything. This is actually something that, uh, that could happen. There is a possibility here. Anyway, that's it for the video. Don't want to get carried away. I already have gotten carried away like I normally do. 
I'm trying to share information with everybody. I mean, I really do. I just hate to see problems like this. You know, to replace the entire block wall is going to cost a lot more than it would have been to put the correct drainage system in and maintain it and make sure that there isn't wasn't too much moisture there to begin with.